Well, I don't know if you can see it back there, but we got ourselves another recovery. This time we were out in like Hudson. I've never been to this area. Um, this tractor over here has been stuck for three months. I kid you not, three months it's been sitting out here. Tried to get it with another tractor and wasn't able to, and then it just sat. Jump in, pull up a little bit. Gotta be careful of snakes out here, man. Found a water moccasin earlier. But yeah. Let's go check it out. Oh, I gotta get a shackle for you. We gotta tow. Do you want to put a big tree saver or toe strap on it? I was going to say either that or an action strap. Do you have an action strap? I'd rather use a, something bigger. Okay. We'll get it. See the guys with balls. Oh, out. yeah. trying to go mudding and shit. They're standing water oh, over there. <laughs> yeah, that's the way to be, man. I mean, that's pretty pretty beefy looking bumper mount right there there's some huge bolts but you would always go to the axle kind of lift more up instead of down let's see it goes around it. is that the only like bracket holding that axle on there though it's the one in the middle and back yeah the one in the middle and the one on the back oh, the yeah it's got one on the back all right. The back goes all the way into the frame. Good deal. We'll have to go around just the high Probably so. Is there a way to double it up and get both sides? Yeah. Yeah. I'm good. Am I hooked to hitting that rope? No, just use the soft hook. Either or, yeah. The little clip on the hooks gets stuck in the back of the loops on the four inch strap. The three inch one, you can get away with it. Those soft shackles, man, I lost the sheath, but you guys can have those when we're done, if you need them. Uh -huh. He just told me he needs to get some. <laughs> there you go. All right, I got the bridle kind of set up running under the back of the axle up and over coming over both sides so equal tension on it but let's look at this thing got the bush hog on here all righty even holds dude last time i was using it the line was spinning on the drum i meant to do it last night pull it out and redo the line on it but we'll see if not i could use the rear winch but i think honestly dude i think either one winch will get it Good. Just give it just a tiny bit of gas, it's enough to get the wheels to spin.
right out. We still got a bush hog on the back of that thing. Oh, yeah. Good to go. Didn't leave it in the mud. No. We're solid. Nice and easy. I figure one winch will get it, but since it was mud suction in there, two Jeeps, two winches, play it safe. There's no point in putting all the load on one vehicle when you have a couple that can assist. Well, I did this recovery last week and then yesterday I got a call for a skid steer recovery. I went and did that one. Let's go ahead and transition into that video. We got ourselves a recovery today in an area that I've never been to. We're like south, mid-south Florida. Not a lot to do out here, not a lot of reasons to go out here unless you're traveling to Miami or something and even then most people don't take this road. but. We have a construction crew that got their skid steer stuck in a little ditch culvert area and uh, it doesn't really look that bad, but you never know every time I say that and it ends up being a big hassle. So, but we'll be there in about 20 minutes. We'll pick this back up then. Well, it looks like they're building a nice concrete pad out here and then there's that thing. See in there. Looks a little worse in person than pictures. Well, you know, the picture that I saw originally didn't make it look that bad, but the real issue is getting back there with it. Whoa, that tripped me out for a second. I looked at my phone instead of my backup camera and thought I was getting close to that truck. <laughs> I meant to look at that. But I'm gonna try and come in from the other side over here. I'm gonna have to do a little bit of four wheeling and it's real soft sand piles, so that's risky that I'm gonna get high centered and bottomed out, but. Is this stuff trash? I'm get around, let me go ahead and put her in four wheel drive. All right. And then we're gonna go back here, try and drive in over this grass around the pile and there's no anchors and uh it's gonna be a bit a bit tricky let's see if i can get in over here I think I'll just run the, the rear winch and see if we can uh, pull it out, bury the back end on the Jeep. One second. Right. Good. Let's see if there's a hook. Is that a good spot to pull from? Looks like it would be. Yeah, that should work.
easy recovery as I expected it would be. A little bit more challenging that I had to use the Jeep without an anchor. There's no trees back there or nothing. Couldn't get another vehicle back, but we made it work. You know, we always do. We figure out a way. That's why I like recoveries. They're all a little different. I mean, I've recovered plenty of skid steers, but each one's different, you know, and they are very heavy. So uh, open road winch for the win. That thing hasn't let me down yet. I am going to make a video on that soon. Um, you know, there's a few things that I wish were better on it, but at the end of the day, it has very strong pulling power. And for the price point on it, you can't complain. Uh, I think that they're actually running a Father's Day special. It did knock them back down to 359. If they run them at that price, that's a solid deal. That's a solid winch. So shout out to them for, uh, you know, sending me that thing last year. I have put it through the test. I just did wire in that quick disconnect system for it. So no complaints. Uh, 500 bucks, I think, you know, you can get the winch and the winch cradle. The battery cost extra. The quick disconnect is like 70, but that makes it just plug and play. Um, it's a good option for a, a backup winch, a rear, rear winch on it. But don't forget, guys, every month we're giving away a power box. Um, it's filled with like $200 worth of Rhino gear. You get a toe strap, you get shackles, you get tire accessories, you get all types of stuff in it. If you want to win that power box, just drop a comment on this video and make sure that you are a subscriber. I will verify that. So um, this month's winner, uh, his name is Joseph. And this dude has been a long time subscriber. Almost every video, he always gives me a thumbs up. Doesn't comment anything but literally gives me a thumbs up on almost every single video and I've seen it for well over a year now. So congrats to you, buddy. I appreciate the support. I wanna get back to you guys. You want yourself a power box. Anybody else moving forward around the first of the month, each month, we will pick a winner for that. And uh, but yeah, fun times, easy recovery. Now about an hour and a half drive back to St. Pete. If you made it this far, thanks for watching. Do me a solid if you haven't already, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button means the world to me helps me out tremendously and i will see you guys next time